I'm Rob Puri, the FlowPro Designer Answer Man. Today I'm going to show you how to generate the report, the schedule sheets, a bill of materials, a detailed report, and the two load summaries using FlowPro Designer. Creating reports in FlowPro Designer is very easy. As you're building the system on the screen and doing your heat loss and your hydronic schematic, the software is compiling all the information in the background to create the following reports. And the way you generate the reports is you go up to the top of the toolbar on the left here to File, left click, go down to Report Options, left click again. Now you get the Project Properties box. And over here on this side you click on the reports that you want. So let's go left, left click on Bill of Materials, a detailed report, Equipment Schedule, and you have two load summaries. Then you have four op options here where you can use both units of measure on the reports, both metric or English. You can disable all report exporting. You can export all reports as read-only files. And you can export each DXF schedule as a separate file. So you have some options here. And then down in this corner, it tells you what kind of file this report um, generate. So this is a Word file, Word file, Excel file, another Word file for this detailed report, and then Bill of Materials is an Excel file. So once you select the reports, you push OK, and then the critical step that many forget is you have to save the report to generate them. So you either hit the this icon here, Save, all go into file and hit save and once you've done that then you go down to open report and you can see the four reports here on the right so let's look at the equipment schedule first this is an excel spreadsheet here are the tabs on the bottom and everything's nicely organized tab by tab so there are the there are the two imposed loads and there's the pump so that's the schedule sheets. Go back to file, open report. Here's the detailed engineering report. This is all the inputs and the outputs for your project. This is, I call this the show me report. Um, this has all the details about your project. So if you need it for uh, uh, support documentation, pulling permits, at least you know that there's a very detailed uh, engineering input and output report in the program. Again, File. Here's the Bill of Materials. This is an Excel spreadsheet again. Lists all the materials on this side. Even tells us how many lengths of 3 quarter inch copper pipe. We need five lengths right there. How many 90s. And then uh, there's a place where you can add cost. Right here. And I'll show you how to uh, Get information over here. Well, let me show you that right now. <clears throat> the way to get costs onto the um, bill of materials is double left click on any of the components. If I double left click on this boiler, go down to here, cost. I can put, let's say this boiler costs $4,000. When I push OK and then save the, the file, that information now goes onto that sheet. Again, double left click on any component, cost, you can put the information here, and this is a place for the contractor to put labor, hours, and labor information. I can create additional cost centers by hitting create. Maybe I want one for demolition. Push create. Now I have a place to, to add the cost of demolition. Again, you add the information, I hit save. Now I go back to the file and back to the bill of materials and that should be here and there it is. So this has lots of interesting applications on organizing your information all in one place. Send this to your wholesaler, have him fill out this information and send it back to you. Okay, the last two reports have a single sheet load summary just the heat of the heating and cooling load 
and then there's a detailed load summary and this is zone by zone floor by floor and room by room so you have two options on the load summary that's it for now remember you can get flow pro designer help on the flow pro designer support page which is at the Taiko flow pro website you'll find a series of these short how-to videos plus tips tricks and keyboard shortcuts you can email or call me anytime, even on the weekends. Thanks for watching. See you soon.